ようこそ、Japanese Quest へ。Welcome to Japanese Quest today, the journey continues. Rafael, こんにちは。Good to see everyone.、Uh, we started with this screen today so we could see where we are in the game. The cool thing about Dragon Quest XI, you start up a new save, or an old save rather, you、uh, see where you are in the story right now. So actually, this picture was used on our Japanese Quest Twitter with four keywords. For the beginning of the game. Number one, Yusha, hero. Number two, Umare Kawari, reincarnation. So put them together. Yusha no Umare Kawari. So we are the reincarnation of the hero, the main character is. Uh, the next keyword of the beginning of the game Seijin, coming of age, and then Gishiki, ceremony. Put those together with the no particle again. And we have Seijin no Gishiki, the coming of age ceremony. So, welcome everyone. Those are four keywords. If you want to check out our Twitter or Facebook, you can kind of get messages like that periodically or before we stream or have new videos.、Uh, but I thought those keywords jumped out from this first chapter of the game Yusha, Hiro, Umare Kawari, Reincarnation, Seijin, Coming of Age, and then Gishiki Ceremonies.、So、let's read that and let's jump into the game. Okay, so Jibun wa. So, Jibun talking about Jibun oneself, the, the main character. So, we found out that we are the reincarnation of the hero. Yusha no umare kawari de are. Seijin no gishiki o eta Akira ga. So, this is my name. I am Akira sensei, a Japanese teacher in the US. So, I named, we named the character Akira. And、uh, so, this character, the main character in the game, finished the coming of age ceremony. And then, from his mother, Haha, mother, her name is Peruda, Kara. So, Kara from. So, from his mother, he was told an amazing fact. Suge, ate so. Raid, arigato. Thank you very much for the raid. Good to see you, ate so. Let's get some hype for Japanese education. On Twitch, because I know Ateso does that as well. So find them, jump on their profile, follow them. We will host you sometime too.、Uh, I'm a Japanese teacher. You can see my name right here, Akira. And what we're doing today, as every day, is we break down sentences, we learn new words, we learn Japanese from the game. We level up in the game, we also level up in real life in Japanese. One way we measure that is power level how many words we found so far in various games. You find words like ken, sword, kenka, quarrel. Let's see what we see today. Ooh, we have a dragon too. Ayunumi has summoned a dragon very appropriate for Dragon Quest. Thank you for the subscription. Sugoi. So we almost finished looking at this sentence. The last line, let's look at that. Keyword here Jijitsu, fact. So, all of this is about a single fact. The fact that we are now the reincarnation of this ancient hero. Yusha, hero, Umare Kawari, reincarnation. And our mother told us this amazing fact Jijitsu. Fact. This is a word you see a lot in a game like Ace Attorney because you need to really know the facts. And you'll, words like evidence, shoko, go with that. So, Raphael says it would be interesting if you had a Twitch team. Of Japanese learning. Hey, you know what? That's not a bad idea, and I have considered it before.、Uh, anyone know what's involved in making a team? Because that could be a good idea. Good question. Why is it not just deshita? De aru is kind of a fancier, more like storybook way of saying it. Am I a partner? No. We are. An affiliate just reached over 50 subscribers for the first time. So, not a partner, but it seems like 
being a partner could be a possibility if we continue to grow. Time will tell. Uh, only partners can make a team, not a little. Well, then we'll just simply have to power up until we become a partner. So anyone watching, I believe to be a partner, all we need is 75 viewers concurrent. So if everyone's just watching 75 or over, or just to be safe, I don't know, 200 or over, seems doable. Anyway, more of a long-term goal potentially. Okay, so, sono shimeo. So again, we're talking about now our mission of kind of finding the truth or finding our fate as uh, the hero. So, shimeo hatasu. So to carry out our mission, tame means in order to do that. So, shimeo hatasu tame, mura o deru. So this is the kind of the big thing. We had to leave the village. So, mura means village and then deru to leave. So we left the village. So, deru koto ni natta. Akira wa murajou no hitobito ni this is our goal. Deru kadaru okoku. So this kingdom, the word for kingdom we learned before, o means king, koku means country. So king or country led by a king is a kingdom. So we are going to this kingdom here, and that is what we're aiming for. So the last verb here, mezasu, to aim for. That's where we're going. Uh, yeah, Ninata is kind of like, was it was decided that we would do that. Yeah, thank you for the comments. Uh, yeah, often people in chat can all answer questions better than I can. I'm a Japanese teacher, but really a lot of people here are Japanese teachers in one way or another. So thanks so much for answering and answering, answering and answering and answering. I meant to say <laughs> asking and answering. Good to ask questions, good to answer questions. We can do both. Uh, okay, so you have done well to come back. Akira ni ga kami no okago ga arimasu yo ni. So may the protection of God go along with you. So kami, God, and then kago means like the protection, so kind of like divine protection, and then arimasu, so it's there. And then Arimas Yoni. So kind of like hoping that it will be there. During our travels. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in Japanese that is difficult. But it's really not a big deal if you think, find things that are difficult. Like, set it aside for now. Eventually, you see it again and again and again. They become patterns that become more clear over time. So a lot of times if you don't understand, it's fine. Just set it aside. Think later. I will start to understand. Okay, so our goal is... We can see it on the map. Deru kadaru okoku. To the north. Kita, north. So right now we are here. So this is our goal. Quite a journey. Sa, ikimashou. So... Ayunumi says, I stumbled upon this stream on Reddit while looking for new Japanese grammar with no romaji. Thanks for taking the time to do, do this. You're welcome and thank you for uh, the subscription. The hope with this channel is to have a different way of connecting with the Japanese language, seeing it in context, which I think can kind of be hard, especially starting out in Japanese, because all native sources are simply too difficult. The hope is with a Japanese teacher leading in this game, we can help break down some of these things and make it more easily digestible. And really at the end of the day, just more fun. Because language should be fun. It can be fun, especially if you're playing a video game. So the hope is this is a way of finding language in a way that makes sense to people. I have no idea how strong this guy's gonna be because we're pretty weak right now. Daijobu kana. This could be dangerous. So our option here, Tatakao to fight. And then Kogeki to attack. Kachimashita ne. 
So I see a question down there. Yakume and Yakuari. Yeah, I think those are similar. I'm sure they're not the same, but I'd kind of have to see the context to kind of know the difference exactly, but good question. Ooh, Mike has joined, new party member, welcome. And another new party member, welcome. And another. Lots of party members. Sorry, we're getting a bit distracted there in my battle. Kami has joined as well. Yokoso, Japanese Quest away. Welcome everyone to Japanese Quest. For everyone just joining for the first time, I'm a Japanese teacher in the US. My name is Akira. Akira Sensei. And what we do on this channel is we learn Japanese from Japanese games. We do that every day. No, we don't. I lied. We don't do it every day. Every day we stream, we do that. Currently, we're streaming two days a week on schedule, but some other secret streams, if you want to find out when we stream secretly, you can follow on Twitch. Not so secret because it's on all of Twitch. Not Twitch, Twitter. I can't speak English right now. Let's say the Japanese. You can follow on Facebook or Discord to get updates. Sometimes English is a challenge, but it's okay. Make mistakes in English, make mistakes in Japanese, it's okay. You can learn from those mistakes. See a comment from Hyperion, just wanted to say, your stream's an amazingly positive attitude has inspired me to play through Link's Awakening on the Switch in Japanese. It's been an absolute blast, thanks for inspiration. Yatta! Ureshi. Good to hear that. If you ever stream it, uh, tell me so we can give you a shout out. I can host you sometime. So, I'm a Japanese teacher in the US. Uh, I got a master's in Japanese education. I see a question about how I became a Japanese or to what extent. So I've taught high school Japanese, I've taught immersion Japanese, I've also worked as a Japanese to English translator. So I have a Japanese license to teach in the US. I also taught English for two years in Japan on the JET program. So welcome everyone. So I kind of like these battles, you get a lot of fast repetition of words, so at least those words will probably become very familiar pretty quickly. I'll luck on, good luck on your Japanese test. What Japanese test are you taking, by the way? Do you have a question, Cyber Kitty? Sorry, Cyber Kitty, by the way, I looked at a stream a couple... a week or two ago and I missed some of your questions about the JET program. One question I saw that you asked is, do you have a lot of free time to study Japanese? And the fact, the answer is, I didn't answer at the time, but yeah, you have tons of free time on the JET program. At least I did, so I studied Japanese all the time. And yeah, sure, you can ask a question. I might miss, miss some uh, comments sometimes, but feel free to ask. Perhaps someone else can answer too. And sorry for miss missing your question before. So again, we're seeing some keywords like kogeki attack, and then taosu to defeat, but you see the past form. Taoshita. And then some keywords here. What we do on Japanese Quest is we break down sentences, we we look at uh, some key vocab. This is a really good word we've talked about. Keiken, experience. And then you add chi to make like the, the amount of experience, experience points. So keiken chi o kakutoku. So we have acquired experience points, four of them. We got some gold as well, you can see. So CyberKitty asks, is there a good book for small words to learn in Japanese, like words like like, off, on, if, all those filler words? There is a good book on just Japanese particles, uh, but also sim simply a grammar book that I've mentioned before. Uh, wait a second. I got a book right behind me that I can maybe show you. 
the particle book, I'm not sure where it is, but there's some good particle books on Japanese particles. Um, here, look at my camera down here for a second. It's going to be small, but a dictionary of basic Japanese grammar here. I've mentioned before, this is probably the best and most popular grammar book that's just grammar. It's not a textbook, but it's got good entries where you can... Uh, that's too small, but great examples, great explanations of different grammar pieces. So I'm thinking you might want to go for that. Find it on Amazon. It's actually the bottom of our page in the resources. There's an intermediate one too, an advanced one too. I have all three. I recommend especially the first two. Very good book. Anyone else? Can you second this book? This one I got a ton of use out of. When I was in Japan, this helped me pass N2. It really helps you get your head around a lot of grammar, I felt. I read through it almost cover to cover, even though it's more of a reference book. But it's that good. So, quick shout out there. Let's go back to the game, though. Yeah, it's a very good book. I recommend it if you're into Japanese and you're into, like, really good English explanations of Japanese grammar. That's kind of what I try to do here, and that's what's in that book. I'm kind of trying to do what that book does, in a way, just in the context of a video game. Like, breaking down Japanese grammar and vocab, I guess we do that, too. But in a context. A hopefully more fun context. It is time to level up for the adventure ahead. Ooh, we're finally, uh... This is new. So let's break down what we have here. Uh, we are now in the zone. You can see the word in katakana here. Zone. Zone jotai. So jotai means like the uh, phenomenon or like the situation. So we're now in like zone mode, basically. So here it says, Batoruchu, so during a battle. Kogeki wo ukeru nado no joken de. So when you get a battle, or when you get attacked in a battle, when you. Kogeki is attacked, so receiving attacks. Zone toyu. So to, toyu just means the thing called zone. Welcome, Saru. We got a monkey. You guys know that word? Saru means monkey. Useful party member. In case we need like tree situations. So what it means is. So zone toyu. Shiuchu roku no takamata jotai ni. So this is. This is a state where you have heightened concentration. Shuchu means to concentrate. Shuchu joku means concentration power. And then takamata means elevated, so it's high concentration. Um, ninaru koto ga arimasu. So that's when you get to a higher level of concentration. Ninaru means to become. Game and John, welcome! So, zone chu wa, so when you're in the zone, samazama na noryoku ga. Okay, so various abilities. Keyword here, no ryoku, ability. So various abilities temporarily will rise. Ichiji teki means temporarily, and agarimasu means to go up. And then we're talking about zone again, so wad means so as for this ability. So zone jotai wa nankai ka kodo suru to. So if you Act a few times, the key verb here, kodo, action, kodo suru to. So if you act several times, it will eventually leave. But, ga, meaning but, kiete shimaimasu ga, so it will disappear. But, koka ga kieru made wa, so until it disappears, tsugi no battle ni mochi kosu koto ga dekimasu. But you can take the next battle until it runs out, which is good to know. Sounds like a good ability. Wow, that was a lot of red I wrote there. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Just try to break down some of those key words to find between the lines there. So I see some comments here. Been here for 30 seconds, love this channel already. Sadu! You are my kind of uh, Sadu. Can I call you Sadu? Uh, red Tyrant, Konbanwa, Konnichiwa. Found us from the Learn Japanese subreddit, welcome. Anyone from Reddit, anyone from Twitter, anyone from any internet land, Yokoso! Japanese Questaway, welcome!
Okay, let's go. So we are now in the zone, so I think we can beat this slime now. Oh, I forgot we can move around. So let's try... I think a normal attack. I found you on YouTube first. Ah, oh, nice. It's interesting to see where people find Japanese quests. You start to realize the internet is very... Well, it's really like, a, what, a network of tubes, right? I think I heard some great philosopher say that. So this is Japanese quest. And you got the YouTube tube. And that's actually a tube. YouTube, right? You've got the, uh, you've got Twitch. You've got Twitter. You've got Facebook. And they're all kind of mixed up. So it's interesting to see where people from come from. I should probably stop trying that. Here we go. Think I found you from another Discord? Naruhoro. And then I should have drawn a Reddit as well. Uh, so up ahead, there are strong monsters. Tsuyoi means strong, mamono means monster. Uh, you'll be hurt, so... So it would be better if you did not come closer. Another from Twitch. so interesting. So yeah, it's really... The internet is connected in all these kind of cool ways. Like, I've found so much stuff because of Japanese Quest 2. Thank you again for the host, Ateso. Again, anyone here, check out their channel, click on it, follow it. I believe you teach Japanese on your channel too. Can you confirm or deny that? For people might, that might want to follow you. So, Moshi. So if you're aiming for this empire up north, um, it's not here, it's up north. I guess they didn't say north, but the later part they said north. So it's up north. Got it. You do, but it's very basic. Hey, that's good because most people in the world are at a basic level or less of Japanese. So in a way, the audience for your channel is most of the earth. Mine too. It's an encouraging thought. Okay, where are we? Uh, I went... What? We're farther away now. I've got to get out of my game. Okay, we're going north, not south. And we can hold down the run button. That's okay, though. We're leveling up. Leveling up in the game. Leveling up in Japanese. That is our motto. Sometimes you get lost in the game. Sometimes you get lost in the language. That's okay. In those strange alleys that you got lost in, you can learn something new. So we're going there. Anyone know if there's like a first person view in this game? Because I kind of want to sometimes like zoom into a first person view. Let's check this guy out. I want to see him like close up if we can. <laughs> Konnichiwa! I kind of like this guy. Check out his name. His, his name is like Zucchini something. Yeah. Zucchini. So it's kind of like a cute way of saying Zucchini. Yeah. Easy to get mixed up zucchini and uh cutie cucumbers. Lamsu, Yokoso, welcome. I was just playing uh Final Fantasy X yesterday. And in that game there's a race called the Ronso. Your name reminds me of that. This character Kimari in that game. It's a Ronso. We might play that someday on Japanese Quest as well. That was the first game I ever played in Japanese. So I'm playing through it again. Cyber Kitty, don't totally understand your uh, question there. Yeah, it's one of my favorite RPGs. For sure. It's probably my favorite Final Fantasy game. That and Final Fantasy VI are my favorite. 
Final Fantasy games. Replaying it's been really fun. It's fun now that I know I can read Japanese properly. It's a very different experience playing it than when I read it and played the game and could understand like 30% or 40% or less. It's really cool to come back to something that you love when you've mastered the language to a high level. It's almost like you're seeing it with a different pair of eyes, but it's very familiar at the same time. Do I have to think about stuff when I read it? Oh yeah, I, I definitely think about stuff when I read it. And here and there, there's challenging words or something. But most of it, kind of like this game, is uh, not too bad. These games, I say, were about are about on the average side in terms of Japanese games. Some games are trickier, like the Yakuza series has a lot more kind of trickier kanji and trickier kind of like Yakuza slang type of speech. Uh, so look at the comments over here. So how different is the whole Final Fantasy X in English versus pure Japanese? Uh, good question. I don't really know because I haven't played it in English, but... I don't know, it's hard to say. I just really prefer it in Japanese. Suggestion for a word I'm pretty sure I just saw. It was fast, I'm not sure. Ooh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, for anyone new, we're getting reminded here. We uh, look up words in the dictionary here, Jisho. So this word, misu, to make a mistake or to miss. So you can see that's a common word, N3 word. We can copy that and add that to our power level. Let's see if we've learned it yet. We have not. So let's level up and learn that word. Let's make our power level go up. Exactly, thank you for the comment up there. Let's make our power level go up here. Power level is now 1358. All the words we've learned so far in Japanese Quest. What does the scouter say about his power level? The scouter says our power level is now 1358. Sen sambyaku go ju hachi. Tiokunata ne. Ah, nice. Your first Japanese game was Dragon Quest 1. That's awesome. I heard it just came out too on the uh, the e store for, G for Nintendo Switch. I think maybe out of other systems too. I'm not sure. So we could play that potentially sometime on Japanese Quest, the first game, after we play this game. Keep saying the word for damage as well. GM Ninja, this is awesome. Arigato, and welcome. Welcome to Japanese Quest. This is what we do every time we stream. This is a channel for learning Japanese from Japanese games. I'm a Japanese teacher. That task, that goal will not always be a success. But I will do the best I can. People in chat generally do the best they can too. To answer questions, we've had a, we've built a pretty strong community here. Check out the Discord too for after stream. People share resources, share goals, and uh, answer and ask questions, helping each other on their own Japanese quest. What? I've been talking too much. Eh? I completely forgot to look at my hit points because I'm just talking about Japanese. How could I die at the very beginning of the game? Shinda, let's look at this sentence though. This is a sentence we need to add to our power level now. So this is a learning... So death, you can learn from death. At least you can on this channel. Uh, so this is a symbol we use on Japanese Quest for learning sentences. We started it in the game Breath of the Wild, which is why it's the Triforce here. 
So what that means is this sentence here, if we write this in chat, we can add this to our sentence chronicle, which means I'll break it down in detail. We can add this to a chronicle of our journey. We have a list of it on our Twitch page. So this is my name here, Akira. And because stupidly, I did not look at my hit points, you can say Akira Wa, the Wa particle here marks Akira as the topic, so as for Akira. Zenmetsushita. So Akira was wiped out. Akira has died. So yeah, that could be a good word for our power level if we haven't added it yet. Let's check that word. Let's look it up. Looks like Unbox just wrote it, so let's unlock this sentence with our sound. This is the sound of the sentence being unlocked in your mind. Yattaze. Let's go to our power level up screen. You see, you can power up from dying much like a Saiyan does. You can see Goku there. He does the same thing. Dying, getting defeated only makes us stronger. So let's look up this word here in the dictionary. Let's make this a bit slimmer so we can see it better. Okay. N1 word, common word, just because it's N1, it's the highest JLPT level, but don't be afraid. This is a common word, useful word to know, especially for games, because this often happens to your party. So, Zenmetsu, Annihilation, Total Destruction, Crushing Defeat, all of those describe what happened to me. So let's add that to our power level. And that is a new word, you can see there, because it did not turn green as a duplicate. So we have powered up now with the power of death. Let's go back to the game and see how we can come back. Okay. Hmm. So it looks like we can go back. We might as well go from our autosave, because I think that was the most recent. So you have three options. This is important to die, because we can see this menu now. So the first one is the last place you prayed, which means the last camp, probably, or the last church. So basho means place, oinori, prayer, and then shita means so the last place you prayed. You can start there. Uh, or the last place you visited, the last place you visited or from the autosave and the good thing it looks like you're able to look at the time for each hmm no it says the time only for the autosave but the autosave is today so thinking that might be the best let's go from the autosave yeah, because this it shows you the place where it is. The place we came from was Cobblestone, Ishinomura, the village. And here it says the camp, and that's the camp. It was a bit before the autosave, so let's do the autosave, most recent. <laughs> Unfortunately, our experience in gold goes back to that time then. Akira wa... So we've gone back to that area by the camp. So that was my fault, um, 100%. But uh, if anyone sees our hit points really low ever, remind me, you might save a life. So we're back again, same thing again. Okay. Now let's just go the right way. One cool thing with this map, you can turn around and point where you want to move. So this is the right way here. Konnichiwa. Yo, doshitanda. So what is it? Moshikashite, camp no zetsumei o matta. Kikitaku natta no ka. So you want to hear again the explanation of the camp, and we can say hi, yes, or ie, no, ie. So that's too bad. So if you want to ask me again, 
just talk to me. I will happily tell you. So that was the first death on this game. But don't worry, we've died a ton in the past on Japanese Quest. If you ever watched us do a side quest playing Celeste, we died, I think, at least 3,000 times in that game alone. So it's good we died early to learn from that. We learn even from death. So, Ikaku no Usagi. Usagi means rabbit, and Ikaku means like a single horn. That first part with the E is from Ichi, and the Kaku can mean like horn. So there's our hit points, 25 left. We're good for now. Just remember when Goku dies, you return stronger. Exactly, that's what we do. Keep in mind, we did power up from that death. The power level went up. In fact, let me make that power level go up. It went up to 59, right? Look at the bottom right, it is now 59. It now has gone up. Konnichiwa! Ooh, we want this whatever that is. Kiyome no Mizu. So it's like pure water. Mizu, water. Konnichiwa. These people, they don't want to be our friends. I don't understand. I'm not trying to pick a fight with any of these guys. So, Okizuchi, this guy is called. It's like a big hammer. Yeah, this guy is kind of hurting us. So let's see if now we can heal, maybe? Or maybe one more fight. There must be more treasure. Ooh, what is this over here? Kind of too far. So Arvarg says, sometimes I think of becoming fluent in Japanese as breaking my limiter, like Saitama. Yeah, it's good to have your own set of metaphors that work for you. People often ask, like, how to stay motivated in Japanese. I find that having a set of metaphors like that, conceptual metaphors that work for you specifically, can really keep you, like, motivated essentially forever, if you have the right kind of framing that works for you. Like for me, with Japanese Quest, we're on a journey, we're leveling up, we have a goal. One goal is to reach power level 9000, but really the main goal is to just to keep progressing on our journey. The journey is still only beginning. If you look at our map, Gray Stash is here. If you look at our map, let's not get attacked. So really quickly, we started Xenoblade 2. We went through all these games. I'm not going to say them all because I don't want to spend too time on this map. But uh, right now, we are on Dragon Quest 11 right here. But the journey is still only beginning. As we progress, we will keep going and go deeper into Japanese or video game Japan. And at the same time, we will level up in... Japanese language Japan because they are related. All of these grammar points are in games. All of these words are in games. If only you have a Japanese teacher or someone who can uh, guide you through it, why not learn that way? At least some of the time. So this is not thought as a one-stop shop to learn Japanese, but a supplement to more traditional methods, perhaps. Ah, konnichiwa, dude man. Good to see you. Chrono Trigger. Yeah, I played that game in Japanese, and it was awesome. Did not beat it though, the final boss just killed me too badly, so I stopped. But I got until the end. I'm the kind of player that I play kind of for language when I play Japanese games. So if I have to grind too much, I'll just stop and play a different game. Abune! Okay, that hurt. Let's 
do a spell. Meta is the fire spell. Yatta, Tarimashita. Momonja o Yatsuketa. So we defeated Momonja. I beat it. The ending's worth. Is worth it. It's such a good game. Yeah, I should beat it someday. Maybe on Japanese Quest someday. And uh, let's heal here. Let's look at our Dogu tools. Wait, so we can be attacked when we're looking at our items? That's kind of messed up. Yakuso, we have 10 herbs. Let's try one. Wait, so he's not attacking us? Okay, so we can choose three options. Uh, Sukao to use. And let's just say, Dosuru. It says, what will you do? Do, what, suru, do, dosuru. You can Sukao, use, watasu, to pass it to someone else, I guess. And, or suteru, to throw it away. And uh, anyone in chat, if we don't have any of these words, we could add them to our power level. Um, Steru to throw away, we probably have, not sure. Watasu, not sure. Sukao, we definitely have to use, is a very basic verb for games, especially. Ah, abunai means dangerous. So yeah, abunai is a word you hear a lot in Japanese games, and I tend to say it a lot. Anytime we're in a dangerous situation, abunai. 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 Japanese people say that word all the time, too. Not always in a serious way, but just kind of in a playful way. Like, ah, abunai. You feel almost like kind of run into someone or drop something. Uh, so in this direction, we can see the castle. You can see the word there for castle. As a suffix, Joel means castle. So, Deru Kadaru, Joel. Just like uh, Himeji Joel, it's Himeji Castle. And here we have Deru Ka Kosta Chiho. So, Chiho is like a region, so the region of that katakana word. Yeah, dude, man, thanks for writing it. Abunai, dangerous. So did we heal? I didn't totally notice. Wait, wait, wait. No, we didn't. What? I thought we used it. Nani. We're about to die again because I can't figure out how to use items properly. So, Yakuso Tsukao. Yakuso o tsukatta. Ah, so I forgot to use it. There we go. Akira no Kizu ga kaifukushita. Ooh, let's do this. another sentence that we learned because it completely follows the last word of getting destroyed, losing horribly. So now, we are being healed. If anyone's able to write this, you can write it in chat. Now we can uh, recover from that last defeat. So, Akira no Kizu. So what kind of Kizu? So Kizu means injury. So the question is, whose injury? In this case, it's Akira, my our injury. So Akira no Kizu. So the injuries of Akira, ga marks that as the subject of the verb here. Akira no Kizu ga kaifukushita. So Akira's injuries were healed, restored. Kaifuku means to heal or restore. Suru means to do. When you add that to kaifuku, it makes it into a verb. And then ta marks it as a past form. So Akira's injuries were healed. Unbox just has it. Let's unlock that sentence. That is the sound of unlocking that sentence in your mind. Hyperion has it as well. So we died, but we are now reincarnated, much like the main character in this game. We die, but we keep coming back. Immortality. Take it. It's yours. On Japanese Quest. Stop. Ikimashou. Let's go. So we are getting closer to the uh, castle here. Scarbutal Konnichiwa. Good to see you.
By the way, I'm reminded I see next to your name the kanji for tiger. Toda tiger. That means you've been subscribed, I think, from three to six months in that zone. Um, I wanted to let people know I just added a new stamp. Now for anyone subscribed... So we saw this before, this is about being in the zone. If people want to see this broken down in detail, watch the time before, before we died. We broke that down about the zone. So now there's a new kanji. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but if we see anyone who's subscribed from nine months to a year, there's a new kanji that can be unlocked, a new stamp by people's name. For anyone in that zone, nine months, over nine months, less than a year. I realize Twitch now allows to have a different stamp. So over six months is a dragon, which is appropriate to this game, but now over nine months is a new stamp. We've been streaming for a year. We've been streaming uh, almost two years. Some people are subscribed over a year. Scarbrutel, you are almost there. The new kanji I worked on, and uh, I'm pretty proud about how it looks, and it works pretty well in the progression. Yeah, well, we started fairly small. It's kind of uh, been growing a bit on Japanese Quest recently, but uh, that's kind of how these games work as well. You start with a party that's small, gradually, you gain more party members. That's kind of how we're going on Japanese Quest. People who follow, we like to say, are party members on this journey. They're not maybe always here live, but uh, they have been some part of this quest, just like party members in a game. Sometimes they might leave, sometimes they might come, come back. But all are an important part of the journey. Okay, we want to heal. Why don't we do our magic again? Hatakao, fight. Let's do Jumon. Jumon means spell. So we're getting close to this castle now. So meta. It's our fire spell. We can see the fire spell explained here. Heat is the word for fire. Good one to look at today because today is the day of fire in Japanese. Kayobi. Ka, of course, is the kanji used for Tuesday in Japanese, kayobi. But here it's pronounced hi, hi no tama, fireball. Hi no tama de, so using a fireball. Uh, teki means enemy, so teki itai o kogeki. So you'll attack one enemy with a small fireball. Let us do that. Yatta, Kajimashita. And we've leveled up. Check it out. Level ga yon kara go ni agatta. This is actually kind of a cool sentence too. So why don't we add this to our power level as well? This sentence, just simply how to say how to level up. We talk a lot about leveling up. Let's learn how to say it. In Japanese, you see it over and over again in this game. It's kind of a good one to add. So let's just write this sentence here. You can use the numbers rather than writing them in Japanese. So level ga, so marking level here with ga. So level is the subject of the verb here. So level ga yon kara go ni agatta. So level has gone from four to five. The verb is raised. So that our level has raised from four to five. Kara means from, and then ni means like two. So from four to five, it has raised. It's kind of little, literally how you do it. Looks like Unbox just has it. Nicely done. Thank you for writing that. Let's uh, unlock that sentence. And let's keep going. And how about that word, actually? The word level. We talk about so much. I feel like, though, we maybe never learned it as a word. 
Could be wrong, but let's check. So you see there's some different words for it. This is more like the word for standard, a different sense of level, suijun. Um, this is like level flat, taida. Here we go. N2 word, common word, level. Le, be, du. Le, be, du. So let's copy that and let's level up with level. It kind of makes me wonder, has anyone in the history of the universe leveled up with the word level itself? Probably, but probably not too often. Let's make our level go up. Let's look at the lower right. Thirteen sixty is our new power level. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Sen sanbyaku. Rokuju. Power level is now thirteen sixty. Power level is rising. By the way, this is the world of Japanese Quest. Sekai means world. This is a world made with all the words we've learned so far. Yama, mountain, umi, sea, mori, forest. And now we have unlocked the word level, which means now we can level up even better. We've unlocked the concept of level. Ooh, check it out. We have a new thing that's important here at the bottom in yellow. Atarashi Jumon. Jumon spell. Atarashi new. So we've remembered and learned a new spell. Yatta. We also got skill points. Three skill points. Maybe we'll find out what that means. Akira wa hoimi no Jumon o so we got a new spell called Hoimi. So these spells in this game are kind of specific to Dragon Quest. And three skill points. So that's new. So now we're learning about skill points. Let's look at this. Let's just look at some of the keywords here. Tatakai no keiken no tsunde. So keiken, experience. So as you get experience in battle. Ooh, here's our new word. So as you level up, skill point ga teni koto ga arimasu. So you gain skill points. Kono skill point o tsukato. So as you use these skill points, tokugi ya jumon. So this ya here means and, but it means like etc. So not just these two things, but it could be other things too. So what you get from these skill points are special abilities and spells. But it could be other things too. So you learn various skills. So you can strengthen your character. Kyoka, to strengthen. Kind of a cool word because uh, you have kyo, which means strong, and then ka, which means strange. Or no, change. Strong and change. So what happens when you combine strong and change? You change into something stronger. Kyoka, dekimasu. You are able to get stronger. Sasoku saksen no skiru panel de pointo arifute skiru o oboete ni washo. So, right now, you can assign these points and gain some skills. And then from where you can go to saksen, which means strategy, that's an option menu, and then go to your skill panel. Skiru panel. So let's try that before we go there. Ah, so I guess it's giving us the option to go right away to into our skill panel. So let's say height, let's do that. It's pretty much saying the same thing, so I'm not read it again. Okay, skidu So it's talking about the skill panel. So this is kind of like the sphere grid in Final Fantasy X that I've just been playing. Uh, basically, you can get skills and move around this board. Very similar to that sphere grid in FF10. Uh, so, skill panel de wa kakutoku shita skill point o warifuri. So, you can assign skill points. Ooh, 45 bits. Arigato. Grace Dash. Honto ni arigato. 
You have found us. Okay, so mata skiru o shitoku suru to. So as you gain new skills, um, tonariata panelu ga kaiho sare. Um, kaiho is to unlock. So you can unlock other panels as you move around the skill grid, essentially. And then the skills you can remember will increase. Fueru to increase. So junba no ishiki shinagara. So ishiki means to be aware of, to be conscious of. So be conscious of the order, Junban, order. Um, notice there's no Furigana here, which kind of sucks. Even though we have Furigana turned on for these skill kind of explanations, you have no Furigana, which seems, I don't know, kind of lazy. Why couldn't they just add it? Nakamatashi wo seichou So then you can strengthen um, your Nakama. Your party members because if you think about it this is like a help menu so you think on this they want to be extra helpful so why on this most helpful screen would they not have the very helpful furigana so it's like helpful but then less helpful than just normal text it's kind of strange is furigana bad though uh, if you rely on it all the time, then yeah, it's bad. But as a tool to help you read and look up words that you simply could not have looked up otherwise, it can be very useful. My recommendation is use Furigana sparingly, but in a game like this, just for practical purposes. Even for Japanese people, it helps them read stuff they maybe couldn't read otherwise. So I'd say don't use it as a crutch forever, but, uh... Use it if you need it to look things up. My recommendation is if you have a tool like Rikai, where you can look things up, like only hover over kanji and look up the furigana if you absolutely must. Like always, if you can, try without the furigana. So yeah, good. it is a good comment. And you are correct. You don't want to always have furigana. Because then you'll always be like a Japanese child because they use furigana. Eventually you want to level up. So let's go to the skill panel here, Akira, and uh, check it out. You have four different domains. Let's look at the four different domains. So number one, katate. So one hand, one-handed sword skills. Number two, uh, ryote, both hands, and then ken for sword, and then skiru. So Katate ken skiru. So we have one one handed skills, two two handed skills. We have a uh, Kenshin, so like sword god. That sounds cool. Curious how they translate these in English. I don't remember now. And then we have Yusha skills, which is hero skills with this legendary hero. Oh uh, yeah, a lot of manga has furigana, and that's because kids read it. Helps them read. I mean, it's really not a bad thing if you're still learning to read. It's just try to get to a point where you don't have to use them. That's the goal. So right now we're using one-handed sword. So why don't we do a skill with that? The first one here is Kai and Giri. So Kiri is to cut, but it changes to Giri here. And then Kai means like blaze or flame. Uh, let me actually show you that word because it's kind of interesting. Kanji wise. Not sure if we want to learn it because it's not common, but it's cool. So what happens when you combine fire and flames? An even bigger blaze. So this is the kanji here for uh, fire. He, fire. This is the kanji here for flame or blaze by itself too. Hono, that's how you say it in Japanese, normally by itself. Put them together, you've got a serious blaze going. Kain, flame, blaze. So why don't we learn that? Let's see what that does. Uh, thank you, Kami. So, 
That sword god is sword mastery in the English version. Interesting. Very cool. Yeah, that's a good rule of thumb too. Focus on the kanji first, not the furigana at first. So yeah, I mean, if you read Japanese books though, there are occasional furigana for Japanese people too. So don't be afraid of furigana altogether. Just uh, try not to rely on them exclusively or all the time. Um, but they can be very handy just for looking words up that otherwise you couldn't even read when you're starting out. Let's see here. Like I read a lot of jump when I lived in Japan and Furigana helped a lot. And I read a lot and it was great practice because of the Furigana, partly. Okay, so let's break down this word. Hono no chikara o. So using the power of flame. Uh, ken ni yeroshite tekitai o kiru. So you will cut down one enemy with the power of fire that resides in your blade. Kakuine. Skiru point o sun point o skatte. Would you like to use three points? Kaen giri o shutoku shimasu ka? Would you like to acquire this skill for three points? Hai! Yatta, tsukunatta. So we've gained this skill now. Or we've learned this skill now. Hmm. Looks like we got some cotton there, too. It's a koton in Japanese. Which is interesting, because there is a Japanese word. Cotton, I believe. I can't help it. I've got to look up the word for cotton. That's just how much I love language. How do you spell cotton? In English. It's O, right? Cannot spell in English. So yeah, men is cotton. But this is the word that we saw. See the small two there? Cotton. Cotton or cotton pads. Usually in, in like an amenity set or like cotton buds. Interesting. So I guess we have that as an item. Usually you'll see the Japanese word, so it's kind of interesting to use that. Men. Cotton. Uh, I don't know. Since we've gone this far, let's just uh, power up with the power of cotton. Why not? It is time to power up with the power of cotton on Japanese Quest. Because even random words that you think you'll never need, you never know. You might need them. And you might need both. So let's go the katakana version and the Japanese version, and remind ourselves that often there is a Japanese version with hiragana or kanji, and a katakana version, and both words can be used, often with slightly different usages. So we've now powered up with the power of cotton, which means in the world of Japanese quest now, if we're ever falling from height, we can save ourselves with the power of cotton. Men no chikara. Okay, so let's see. Let's make our power level go up to 1362. Probably the most, one of the most random powers we have on Japanese Quest now. Had to be done. I kind of feel like I want to check out this moat. Can we jump this? We cannot. Huh. Feels like the kind of place where there'd be like secrets or a treasure. I always like to like search under bridges in Zelda games and things, but it seems you can't. Let's check around a little bit. Part of these games is exploring after all. Eh? Thank you, Nine. I do miss the free range climbing. 
from Breath of the Wild. Ah, uh, dude, man, thank you for the example. Always helps to get more context and examples and things in chat. Check out this thing, they got a serious uh, piece of siege equipment here. So, yeah. Oh, nice, GM. Tabi no monoka. So you're a traveler. Tabi means journey. Mono means person. Koko made kuru no ni taihen datta to omou ga. So I think it's probably difficult to get here, all the way here. Mo, anshin da zo. But now, you can relax. Kono saki wa deru kara aru okoku da kara na. Because this is the great kingdom of Deru Karabu. Okokunu, Okokunu. <laughs> I cannot speak anymore. Okokunu, Okokuni Haitara. So if you enter the kingdom here, Yaroya ni Tomaru Naroshi. You can stay at the inn. Tabi no tsukare o iyasu to idaro. And you can uh, get healed from the tiredness on your journey. Couple keywords. Again, tabi means journey. Sorry, I'm covering up the top line, but we're looking at the middle line. Tsukare, tiredness. Put them together. Tabi no tsukare. And then what about this uh, tiredness from your journey? Yase. To heal. So you can heal this tiredness, recover from it, by staying at the end. you could ishite, you could ga. So yeah, you can kind of relax. Why don't we look at that word too? I feel like this word we may not have learned. Let's check. We may have. Yasu. Okay. Yasu to heal, to cure. You see it a lot in games. Notice it's not linked. It's not mentioned as a common word, but it is really a pretty common word. I think it's worth learning. We've seen it a lot in games. So much so that we actually already learned it. Check it out. It's green, so it's just review, but we don't need it. Because it's a duplicate. Back to the game. Tabi. Yep, good word. Cami, thanks for writing it. Sugoi. Nice ballista they have there. Koreori Saki was so up ahead. Uh, Rotoze Tashia de Ichiban no Hiroso Hokoru Derukararu Oko. So up ahead is the greatest, um, the most vast kingdom in all of the world. The world is called this Rotoze Tashia. Uh, jo Joka no Nikiwayo Zonbun ni Tanoshinde Ikugayo. So enjoy the areas um, around the castle. It's very bustling. Nikiwai is kind of like the bustling areas. And then Tanoshimu is to enjoy. So we will do that. Konnichiwa. Yokozo! We say that a lot. Welcome. Uh, so, welcome, traveler. Koko wa Derukararu Okoku. So, this is the kingdom of Derukararu. Here we go. Kind of fun to read those uh, menus as you're playing. They go quite fast reading speed, but it's nice to have something to look at during the loading. Derukararu. Ine. So, Jokamachi. So, this is the castle town of the castle there.
Puh. Isogashi na. So I'm busy. Isogashi means busy. Seems like we cannot talk to this guy. Let's get to important matters, like trying to see if we can get inside this, uh... Well, we're trapped. Japanese quest is over. We're trapped in a... Oregon, Oregon Trail situation. We've been defeated by this guy. He's busy at what? He's busy at trapping us. I'm guessing we can probably jump out, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, we got around him. Oh, he let us out. This guy, what if he was secretly like the final boss of the game and he's just like showing us his power there? Just casually trapping us forever. Casually letting us out forever. Oh no! What? I didn't try to go back. Eh? Bakane, Bukwa. Kind of foolish. Sorry about that. His bolt cut is power level 8,000. <laughs> yeah, I kind of have the same feeling. He's one of these guys that's like keeping his power level low secretly. He's like, an, like look at this guy. Wait a minute, we need this guy in a good shot because I want to I make this guy like the YouTube thumbnail for this video. We've got to make this guy, like, in the foreground, because this guy's awesome. This guy's got to be our thumbnail for YouTube. Because we make all these into a YouTube video. And, uh, if I can get this guy in a good shot... Oh no, he's back there again. Then we can make him the thumbnail. We've got to do it. We've got to get the perfect one. Okay. We almost had it. We almost had it. Almost. Moskoshi. I feel like he just goes in the foreground. Is there any way in this game to like... Like, could I do a picture of him, you think? There's a picture mode. Can you zoom? It seems like you can't zoom. Huh. Well, I think we've probably got a pretty good one. This is important work, in case anyone's wondering, like, is this a good language? Um... Is this a good language activity to successfully learn and get fluent in Japanese? The answer is probably not, but maybe. Because sometimes you've got to do fun things to break things up. You've got to take breaks. This is taking a break, having some fun. And this guy now can be our thumbnail on the YouTube video, which means this might be our highest viewed video ever for Japanese Quest because I feel like this guy, especially when he flexed right there, people will be able to just instinctively tell that this guy has a power level power level over 8,000 just like GM said there. Okay, we're good. I think that's enough. Uh, Yokozo, welcome. Uh, good question. Anyone know that answer in chat? How do you take, how can you ask if, you, if someone can take a picture in Japanese? Uh, koku wa Derukararu Koku. So this is the Kingdom of Derukararu. Uh, Rotoze Tashiya de Ichiban no Hiroso o Hokoru o Koku. So this is the kingdom that boasts the greatest size of all the kingdoms in the world here. So relax. Yukuri shite. Ah, so so. Watashi no mai. My katani, so in front of me, oji san ga iru dano. So you see this man, this older man in front of me? So this is the guy I think that we were just taking a picture of, this oji san. So he's talking about him now, he's probably going to say that this guy has the highest power level in this kingdom. So, uh, ano oji san no yoni, so like that man, shiroi fukudashi no ito wa. So people with a, like a white bubble above their head, like a speech bubble. Uh, sore ijo hanashi wa naimitai. So it seems like people like that don't have any more to say. You can't talk to them. So in other words, his white thing there, fu isigashi na, he's very busy. And that's all he'll say, he'll never talk to us.
Uh, good guess. Yeah, Kami, I think, is how you usually see it in a Japanese class. Like, uh, Shashi no totemo i desu ka? It's a little different. Totemo i desu ka? It's usually the way that I see it. Shashi no totemo i desu ka? Shashi means picture. Toru is to take, so the te form is totte. And then the temo i desu ka is like, is it okay? Shashi no totemo Shoshi no Okay, so where are we? A new town. Wait a minute. I feel like there was a person back here. Ah, konnichiwa. And she is saying, Hito ga mieru. So I can see people down there. So is there any first person? Because I feel like... If there's a first person, we could see people down there. I feel like I want to use like R to first person, but we can't. Is there really no first person? Confused. Yeah, Kami, that looks good. Uh, koko kara shita o miruto. So when I look down from here, when I look down below. I can see people walking around. Tamani. Uh, this is a useful word here. Tamani, once in a while. Me to me ga atari suru to nanto, nanka. Ureshiku natcha. So once in a while, our eyes meet. Like they see me, I see them, and I get. Kind of happy, I can't help myself. Ureshi means happy, and then change it to ku and add naru to become happy. And then chao gives a sense of I can't even help but become happy. Ureshi kuna chao. And then wa is sentence ending particle to add kind of emotion, emphasis for women. And then ne is kind of looking for agreement, so maybe we can emphasize with that because we look down too. Uh, dude, man, not totally sure what you're uh, writing there, so it doesn't look totally right, probably. But we always do encourage writing and asking questions in chat, so thank you for that. It's always cool to write in Japanese, too, in chat, even if there are mistakes here and there. So you can see people, but I kind of wish I could just look like she's looking, like in a first-person kind of way. Can anyone confirm or did I? Is there first-person in this game, or am I missing something? I think there's not, because I pressed every button. Hmm, it's on there. Ah, uh, these people have white, um, bubbles as well. Tanoshi na! Tanoshi means fun, so they're having fun playing. Kind of cool, you can get flashcards that run around. It's like having a flashcard that's a child. Running around. Ah, for excuse me, yeah. You got the excuse me. Sumimasen, that's good. But then for the asking to take a photograph, if you scroll up and see what uh, Kami wrote, that is more what you want. Shashi no totemo i desu ka? Something like that. So she's talking to him about something. Wahaha, so he's laughing, I guess. Oh! Kono ende wa minai kao da tana. So around here, you're a face I've not seen before. Nan datte? Deru kara ro ni yo ga atte koku ni kita datte. So, wait, what? So you came here to see. You have business with the, the king? So then you can go to the castle if you want to meet the king. 
See, I, I'm kind of amused that in this game, people are just like cool with a random traveler just meeting the king. Yeah, if you want to meet the king, just waltz up, uh, knock on the castle door. He'll meet you. Kind of strange. Um, Konomichio Masagiki. So if you go straight on this path, Kaidano Nobote, go up the stairs. Sarani Masagiki to Oshiro ga aru. So there's a castle if you go straight. Sounds good. Uh, yoru no aida wa, so during the night, Osama ga o yasumi ni nararu no de. So because he sleeps during the night, you cannot enter the castle. Um, so if you want to go there, go during the day or during the afternoon. Just some keywords here. Again, shiro, castle. Hiru, daytime. So. So it's good if you go during the day because you cannot enter at night. Uh, GM says apparently you can go to first person by pressing L3 or left analog stick for using PS4. What? On this, that's just auto run. You mean pressing down the stick? You cannot do first person mode in Switch? That's insane. Why would they take that away? Huh. Because this mode I really like in a lot of ways. Like, they've added a lot of good stuff. But taking that away, even if there is some kind of graphic thing, it's unfortunate. Oh well. That's too bad. Because I do like doing that occasionally. Shogunai That's a good Japanese phrase for this moment. There's no way around it. Shogunai. Yeah, it could be some kind of a space or graphical limitation issue. It's on menu. Oh well. Uh, see this guy staring at the bar sign and he's saying Ippai dake nomo kana. So I guess I'm gonna drink as much as I can. So dake usually means like only but it can also mean in this context like to the extent of, so ippai means full, to the extent that I'm full, I guess I'm gonna drink. Konnichiwa, irashai! So that's what you say if you're working at a shop in Japan. It's the kind of shorter version of irashai mase, welcome to my shop. You'll hear that all the time in Japan if you live there. So I cannot lower the price, the guy on the left is saying. The guy on the right is saying... Could you try to do something? So he's trying to get a, a lower price. Why don't we break that down? That's kind of a good one. I kind of like these white... Um, constant conversation things. So ne means price, and then sage means to lower. So ne sage means to lower the price and then wa so as for a discount muri not possible muri 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 sometimes you hear it a lot in a row like that if you watch one piece at the beginning you'll know what i'm talking about this guy colby was very negative and would always say muri 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 ah oh, this is a nice one yi tenki da nice weather so e means good tenki means weather Often people will say ne after that, like Yi tenki des ne. Good weather, isn't it? Ah, hate so. Arigato. Tabibito san kai. So what, you're a traveler? Moshimo yasumitai no nara. So if you'd like to rest, if you'd like to rest, ya, yaro ya ni. Ikuto, you can go to the uh, the inn. Sugusoko no sakaba no naka ni aru. So I think he's talking about the uh, the bar here. I guess there's an inn inside there. 
Naka inside Sakaba no Naka. Arigato. Ureshi. Mina yasashi ne. Kore kara mo isho ni gambaro. From now on, we can gambaro together. So. Yaroya wa. Well, this could also be the thumbnail. Do you think this thumbnail would work? Would be more successful than the thumbnail of the other guy? Possibly. What do you think in chat? Should she be the YouTube thumbnail, or should the other guy be the thumbnail? It's possible that she might get more views, but it might be more clickbait. Yeah, I kind of like the other guy too. I think we will go with the other guy, but it's possible that would get more views. <laughs> That's a possibility. So let's see. Um, let's see what she's saying. She would absolutely get more views. Maybe we can save her for like a later video then. But for this video, we're definitely doing the other dude because he's more important for the story. She would get more clickbait views, but supreme power level. I agree. We're going with the other guy. There's no question. Possibly later though, if we need if we need a thumbnail someday. <laughs> so, Yaroya is again an inn or hotel. Uh, Yaroya wa. So, as for the inn, haite hidari yo. So, once you go in, go to the left. Whoa, 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 what just happened? Nani! Oh, it became night. That was weird. She left for the night, I guess. That freaks me out. Niyaka. That means like, uh, boisterous. Hey, that's a good word. Maybe we could learn that word. Let's go to our power up screen, see if we've learned the Niyaka. This is a word common enough you'll see in Japanese class, probably in like year two or something. N5 word, bustling, busy, lively. Wow, we've not learned it. So let's gain the power of Nigiyaka. It's a na adjective, so often has na. Back to the game. Nigiyaka de tanoshi na. Demo. Kuromo ga iru to otona ga okoru kara ne. Moskoshi tara. Okay, so uh, this place he's talking about is lively and fun. The way you can combine na adjectives is using the day particle. Essentially, this is the te form to combine sentences. So, nigiyaka de tanoshi na. So, this is lively and fun. Demo, but. For children, adults get mad, so after a little bit, I have to go home. Kai to go home. Hmm. Hito ga ippai iru ne. A lot of people. Ya, umai. So umai means delicious. Kind of a casual way of saying that. I could also say, Oishi! Koku no sake wa Yamitsuki ni naru yo. Sasega wa Teru kara no koku wa Sake mo Iyi mono wo Soroe Soroe te iru na. So, as expected of this kingdom, they have great sake as well. You will get addicted to this sake. Oishiwa. They're saying each word for uh, delicious there. Oishi and umai. Notice she says wa. Wow, she's eating a pizza. Looks pretty good. 
check it out. Waw is the kind of particle to show emotion. It can be used by women, generally. I guess this is where the girl's working now. So, relax. Who am I no? So he's saying the same thing, but he adds no. Because that's kind of a sentence ending for kind of old people to end a sentence and show some emotion about what he's eating. Konnichiwa. Ah, interesting. She was just saying, Eito. Hmm. We probably didn't learn that word, but that could be a good word to learn, actually. Sometimes learning words that you don't even think of as words can be nice to focus on. That's one thing we do on Japanese Quest. Go even deeper, think about the words that normally aren't thought about that much. Not to say this isn't thought about, but uh, let's look at it. So, notice this is a variant of it, the one that's the main dictionary entry, is with a small tsu. Eto. Um, common word, n to word, hmm, let me see, it's kind of a conversation filler. So as you're thinking, you can say this word. Another one that you can say is like, ano, eto. Um, yeah, similar to um in English. Yeah, it's funny, I just said it without even thinking about it, um there. So let's take that word, copy it, head to our power level here. We'll power up with the power of eto. Sometimes there's a ne after it too. Uh, and notice there's some different ways to say it. Sometimes a bit longer, sometimes a bit shorter. Eto, eto, eto ne. Sometimes there's a ne. Um, why don't we learn ano as well? So, well, um, er, a couple variants here too. It can be longer, a bit longer. Ano, ano. Let's add that to our power level as well. I failed on adding eto properly. Let's add that again. Again, these are just filler words. It's useful to have when you're learning, so you can fill in some gaps as you're thinking before you say the next thing. The problem is some learners start to say them way too much, but as you're learning, that's really fine. They can kind of become a habit where you, you say it too much, but they're certainly good to know. So power level is now 1365. Let's make that power level go up here. Wrong thing. That's our map of the language world of Japanese Quest. What does the scouter say about his power level? That's where I was trying to go. Power level is now 1365. Tsuyoku Let's find some new words. The goal, of course, over 9,000. Or over 8,000. 8,000 or 9,000 words is what you need for fluency. It's also what you need for the meme, so it's a win-win. So we learned that from her. See, she's thinking, looking for a certain drink, saying, Eto. Okay, Chotomate, I think right now I'm gonna take a quick jumping jack. What does the scouter say break. about his power level? Check out, if you can see my legs down here, I've got my soccer shorts on so we can do these jumping jacks properly. Anyone wants to join me, you can do jumping jacks as well. It's very important to move around as you stream. All these Japanese books here are behind me like that one we saw earlier. So let's do some jumping jacks. Let's get hyped so we can uh, continue this journey. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, shichi, hachi, kyu, ju. Just leveling up because uh, if you don't move around, you can get injuries like I did in the first year streaming. 
Oh, if you move around, however, it's a good thing. I've got a standing desk here. I think I'm gonna put it down. Um, so yeah, move around. Anyone else can do jumping jacks as well. Ichi, ni, sun. You can level up in real life. You can level up in the game. Level up in Japanese. We're leveling up on at least three fronts. Yeah, I sat streaming five days a week on a, a couch and I injured my hip. So because of that, I make sure to move around a lot. Part of it was a cat was on my lap half the time as well. Not a good model for streaming, I found out. So now I have a standing desk. It works better. I'm putting down that standing desk now. See if you hear the sound for it. So going down now. I also was bit by a spider, so I had to not stream for a month because of that. Spider bite was no joke. Got infected. Okay, now we're good to go. Ah, so we have a, a bank. Yeah, I mean, even more than that. You want to probably move around every half hour, I would say, from what I've read. Ginko Bank. So Ginko e Yokoso. Welcome to the bank. So this is the name of the, the bank. It's like a gold bank. Gorudo Ginko e Yokoso. And he describes the bank here as being beloved. I means love and uh, being trusted. Shinlai means trust. Uh, Jin the Stuff Phoenix. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Uh... So everyone's important money, okane means money. So we protect people's money from monsters, etc. Nado here means etc. So I, we take money in units of 1,000 gold. So Tani down here means units. Um, so Azukari is to take money, and then Hikidashi is for us to take money from him. This is reminding me of being in a bank in Japan, which is to me like the hardest thing you can even do in your life practically. Like, once you go to a bank in Japan, you can do anything. If you've been to a bank in Japan, you'll have the confidence to tackle any life challenge. Because you'll say, this is easy, I've been to a bank in Japan. It's incredibly confusing. I, I thought. Mochiron. Teisuryo nado wa isai. Itadakimasen. So don't worry, there's no handling fee. So would we like to leave money with him? That's Azukeru. Or take money, hikidasu, or yameru, quit, don't do it. I don't think we even have that much money. Look at our money. 235 gold. We're not high rollers enough to even be there, but we are high rollers enough to be riding on a dragon. We're off for life, Dra uh, dragon. Arigato. Thank you for the dragon. Raw life has subscribed at tier one. Hontoni arigato. Thank you very much for the subscription. The hype is real for Japanese on Twitch. Wait till we get to the slot machines. Sounds good. Konnichiwa. Tabibito no yaroyae yokozo. So welcome to the Traveler's Inn. Konafu or Konayo fukake made. Utsukai sama deshita. So, uh, Utsukare. Kind of saying, Thank you for your hard work. We can all kind of, uh, Yeah, she's basically saying we can we can rest here. 
Uh, would we like to stop here? Would we like to sleep over? Otomari desu ka? And we can say tomaru to sleep there. We can say yasumu to just rest there. Or we could say yameru to do neither. Um, and uh, they are both... Dochiramo means both. Both are san gorodo, three gold each. Skoshi yasunde karemasu ka? So would you like to rest a bit? Or would you like to sleep overnight? So the difference here is two verbs. Tomaru is to like sleep over, spend the night. Yasumu is to rest. And why don't we check if we learn those words yet on our power level list? Yasumu, I'm certain we have rest, but uh, let's check Tomaru. Tomaru can mean stop as well with this kanji. But to stay at a hotel, Tomaru and forward is the word we're using here. So let's copy that, add to our power level. Yup, buddy, we've now learned it. Sweet. Power level has gone up. Let's keep going. For now, let's say Yameru. I don't think we need to sleep over right now. Sayonara. So goodbye, traveler. Mata. So please come again. Maybe we can go up just to see what's up there. Bandana. You got a bandana. Let's see if we uh, need that. Kitin. Yokozo. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Let's check. Uh, we go to Sobi, which means equipment. Up there in the left. Okay, and it looks like we already have a bandana. Let's see if the other one's the same. So yeah, they're both 19. And they're both exactly the same. I think we bought that one. Seems we did not need to. Konnichiwa. Uh, no, I think it said bandana in a uh, katakana. GM, did you see it say boshi? Because boshi means hat, by the way. Anyone listening who does not know? To the right? Hmm. Yeah, it could have been boshi just as like, like the general equipment slot. So yeah, that could be. Ah, konnichiwa. Kitin, welcome. Okay, let's break this down. We just got to a new town, so Konomachi in this town, Konomachi no Higashigawa. So on the east side of this town, so Niwa this means so on this east side, Narazumono Tachi ga sumu. So Narazumono means like ruffians, and then Tachi means like plural, so like multiple ruffians live on the east side of town. Who knows if it's true, she could just be like, I don't know. Anyway, take that for what it is. And then sumu means to live. That should be a word we've learned already, I think. Uh, no iriguchi ga arukedo. So there is a way to enter, but chian ga warui. So because it's dangerous, chian means like the safety of a region or a city, for example. Chian ga warui means bad kind of safety or law and order. And then kara means because. So because the safety there is bad. Heishi ga fusaireru. So troops are blocking it. Fusaku means to block. And then gu goes to ide in te form. So heishi ga fusaireru no sa. So the no sa is kind of for giving us like a reason or new information. Yellow Ninja! Go on, Mama. Bokensha no Kokoroe 
Monster Hand. So it's talking about monsters. So it's the uh, kind of adventurer's journal. Monster edition. The monster section. So let's learn about monsters. To Kakareta Hon. So it's a, a book about that. Hon is book. So all of you adventurers traveling through this world of that katakana word that I don't like saying. Uh, so looking back on danger. Uh, so let me give you some useful information. You who is not turning from danger. Nanto. Hiruma katsudo suru monster yori mo. So this yori here is important. It's almost always important. It's showing so more than monsters in the daytime. Hiruma mean during the day. So daytime monsters more than daytime monsters. Nighttime monsters are strong. Tsuyoi means strong. Mata, Kyobo, strong and fierce. So, in other words, be careful in the night. Yoru means night. So, Yoru ni katsudo suru monster no hoga. So, the monsters of the night are much stronger. Haruka ni tsuyoku. Sono koto kokoro ni fukaku kizami. So, engrave that fact deep. In your heart, yoru soto de aruku toki wa. So when you walk at night, chubu ni chui suru. So be careful when you walk at night. Yellow Ninja, kochira koso, arigato. Thanks to you as well for being here. It always helps when uh, people can answer, ask questions in chat. This is, after all, a journey of not just me, but uh, other party members as well. We can learn better as a team. So welcome everyone today. So I think we haven't gone here yet. Let's break some bases in this hotel. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I do when I enter a hotel is break their bases. Look for hemp thread. That was hemp thread we just got. Asa means is hemp. Asa no ito, hemp thread. Probably we can like make clothing with that later. Uh, AMJ says, I just randomly remember the Japanese word bounty list. Are we still doing that? We haven't really used it recently because I feel like it might be one step too complicated for uh, a lot of our viewers. But yeah, we are still doing it. Like, if you look at it and see a word we need, you find the word, then yeah, absolutely, let's, like, learn that word. The bounty list is a, a list of words we're targeting. They're N5 words, mostly. So basic words we need. There's bounties on these words because we need to find these words. We're, like, paying bounties in uh, the currency of the world of Japanese Quest. I feel like all that's a bit complicated, though, so I don't need to, like, talk about it maybe all the time. But, uh, yeah, we are looking for those words, that's for sure. So what did this guy say here? Igogochi no i yaru ya da na. This is very comfortable in, isn't it? So... <laughs> Destruction of private property. Good question. You might just say like, "Yaro ya no mono no hakai," like hakai is to destroy. That's the way you could say it. Yaro ya is the in private property. Yeah, that's kind of like legal terminology. So I'm not that sure on legal terminology like that. I mean, I would have some ways to think about saying it or. But I haven't heard people say that really in Japanese. 
so he likes this inn because he says, uh, Kinita, which means he enjoys this inn. Sasagawa derukarara no yariya, as expected from uh, inns in this empire or this uh, kingdom. Eh? Oh, that freaks me out. So it's day again. Like it forces you to look up and then suddenly it's daytime. Let's break some of their barrels too. For good measure. Now I'm curious, will like the people down there be different? Hmm. So more people at night. Ah yeah, GM, that's a good 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 idea. Didn't think of that. Probably looks up so the uh they can all respawn these NPCs. Interesting, this guy has like kind of cool thing to say. So Ashtawa. So as for tomorrow, Ashtawa. Ashta no kaze ga fuku. So tomorrow the winds of tomorrow will blow. Kaze, wind, fuku, to blow. Are you playing a demo? Yeah, we are playing the demo. The demo is free, 10 hours. For us, it'll be longer than 10 hours. So we take our time with games. We go deep into the language, deep into the game. But uh, yeah, anyone watching, you can get this same demo for free on the Japanese eStore, if you have a Switch. Probably other systems too, like PS4, I'm not sure. She's dancing. She's talking about her body. Karaga. Ugoicha. So I can't help but move my body. Ugoku means to move. And this chao here means kind of can't help but move. It's connected in that way. He's kind of just cheering. So they're playing their instruments is very skillful. Jozu means skillful. You've probably heard about language before. Nihongo jozu desu ne. Yeah, Shiritsu can be private. However, for private things, I'm not sure if I've heard it that way. Let's see here. So, Iki ga pitari nanda. So, they're singing together is perfect. Tanoshi na. Tanoshi. This is the keyword. Fun. Tanoshi. That's also the hopeful keyword for this stream. Nori nori da wa. Nori nori means like hype, to get excited, so she's excited. Let's talk to these guys. These guys could be the thumbnail as well for the YouTube video. They're breaking it down. So, soda, soda. So he's kind of just singing the rhythm, and he's saying, "I kyoku da So kyoku, that word in the middle you see, means song. So e means good. It doesn't work if you're moving around with my writing on the screen. So good song, don't you think? Yeah, these guys are going hard. Let's find more treasure. We got that bandana. Now we got 37 gold. Sanju nana gold. Ooh, let's break your vase too. We got another book. So this time we have history. Rekishi, history. So what kind of history? The no particle can tell you. 
Teru Kararu Okoku. So the history of this empire we're in now. A book telling you about that. Taeriku no Kochi ni iru so ichi suru. Um, Teru Kararu wa. So talking about this kingdom, Teru Kararu. Tochi ga yasuteite. So. The land where Derekararu is um, was barren. Yaseru means thin, but it can mean like barren too for land. Ame no ryo, so the amount of rain. Ame is rain. Ryo is amount. Ame no ryo mo sukunai. So it didn't have much rain. So because of that, tame means because of. Sakumotsu ga sodatanai. So they couldn't raise crops because of that. Uh, Fumo no Daichi to yobare dekita. So it's called a barren land. So that's what this area was. Daga, but something's gonna turn it around because we see a ga. Arutoki. So once, once upon a time, Takoku wo oware kono chi ni kita. So someone was chased out from their country and came here. And they were, their names were, they were brothers, Kyodai, brothers. Their names were Derukan to Daru. So combine those, it seems to make the name of this kingdom. So we can kind of tell those guys probably founded this place and used their name. Areta tochi no kaitaku wo hajimeta. So kaitaku means to cultivate, so they started cultivating this land, this barren land. Ah, GM, nice. Yeah, good kanji for rain. And for that one earlier too. Yeah, kaen, blaze. Hitobito wa sonomubo no chose no warata ga. So everyone laughed at their uh, reckless ambition, their challenge. But they're, they continued with their hard work. This is a good word. Doryoku. Hard work. Effort. So because of their hard work, they continued. And, uh... So because they worked on, uh... Like improving the, the water and the irrigation, the land, the rivers. Um, that's kind of what this word means. Uh... The barren land was once again plentiful. Fumo no taichi wa. So this barren land became plentiful. Minori itaka na tochi e to sugato kaeta. Kaeru is to change. So it changed to a uh, fertile land. Yagate, so eventually those brothers were uh, followed as a king and they made this one country and so that was the beginning of this kingdom Teru Kararu Teru Kararu Okoku no Hajimari Hajimari means the beginning so the beginning of this kingdom was these two brothers Kyodai kind of interesting the beginning of Japanese quest was also two brothers in a sense my brother was on Twitch. He's a streamer named Great Ape Greg. It's mentioned in my About section, kind of lower in the Twitch. And uh, he was on Twitch, so that's why this Twitch got started. So in a way, Japanese Quest also started with two brothers. Interesting. Konnichiwa. Oh yeah. Tabibito-san kai. What is it, a traveler? It's funny, everyone says something like that. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, if you just brazenly enter people's houses. Yeah, these are some words that I don't see that much, so why don't we look up some of these words? Ah, ate so. Ja, oyasumi no sai. See you next time.
So, old mono, important person, influential figure. I feel like it might have a different meaning here, though. That's why I wanted to look it up. That's normally what it means. But yeah, just bluntly, frankly, brazenly entering people's houses. A feeling like it, you might be wanted kind of feeling to it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good comment, dude, man. I think we checked that already. The repeating kanji is one that you do see a lot. Often kanji are doubled. And you get a sense of lots of that thing. It's like in the case of hitobito. You get lots of people combining the hito kanji twice. Okay, so where are we going here? We have a map here too. It looks like the castle we can see on the map. So castle by itself is Shiro, but as a suffix here, it's a pronounced Jo. Jo. So we are going to that castle eventually. So let's go in that direction. I guess we can see the castle there, so we're kind of... If you look at the map, it points north. Ah, uh, yeah, dude man. It does usually, so like, Hito goes to Hito Bito. The second Hito changes to Bito. It's the Lendaku you're referring to, I believe. Okay. So this guy is saying... Shiterukai, do you know? Shiru's to know. So, Konomachi, this town. Konomachi no yane. Ooh, so we're talking about roofs here. Yane means roof. Yane wa... Noborerun da. So you're able to climb the roofs here. Ooh, let's try to do that next. Get a good view of the town. Uh, yane ni, so on the roof. So if you like to climb the roof. So then go to the west side alley. Roji means alley. Uh, Nishigawa means the west side. And there's a, a ladder. Hashigo means ladder. So a ladder. Let's take a ladder. So west side would be over here, I'm thinking. Let's look for a, a ladder. Hashigo. Hashigo wa doko. So where is this ladder? So I remember the word ladder we did learn before in the previous game. I forget which game. And he said it was an alley. The word for alley was roji, roji, roji. That is a word I think we have not learned. Hmm. So where is this alley he speaks of? We must get on a roof. Oh, here we go. So there's a, a ladder here? Apparently there is in this alley. Why don't we power up with the power of alleys and ladders to make sure we haven't learned these things. So, uh... So... Roji, alley. Let's learn that. You can see it's a common word. Wani Kani level 10. Nice. Let's add that to our power level. And the word ladder, let's just review it, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we have it. So N2 word, common word. Hashigo, ladder. Let's see if it turns green, if we've already learned it. 
Yup, buddy. As expected, we did learn it. Yeah, dude, man, thanks for writing those down. Gives people an idea of what you're talking about. So our power level is now 1367. Let's make this power level go up. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now... Sen Sanbyaku Lokuju Nana. Chiyokunata ne! Mokuteki wa Hase Nijo. The goal is over 8,000 or over 9,000 in the English translation of Dragon Ball that we're referring to. Let's go up the ladder here. Fail. Yet more fail. This game could have taken place one, three, six, seven. It's true. You mean like the year Yellow Ninja? Nani sore? Maita. So maita na or maita kind of means like. A dissatisfied kind of sound, like he's annoyed with something. Uh, so if you go in this chimney, kind of a cool word there for chimney. Uh, so I determined that you can get, you can find a treasure if you go down this Chimney, ga, but. But uh, I'm not good with dark places. Kurai means dark. Tokoro means place. Steven now is now a party member. Yokozo, welcome. Ah, uh, yeah. Lingeron. Uh, why don't we look up some words actually? Because we see some cool words in this sentence too. Yeah. Check it out. Maita or maita na. Um, I'm beaten. I I give up. So yeah, I. This guy basically gives up because he can't get in this chimney. So good question. Helps to look up the word sometimes. Basically, this is the past form of. Maire. Which can also mean to be defeated, but it can also mean to go or to come, as you can see there. Okay, any more of these words? Let's look at the word for chimney. Should we power up with power chimney today? I feel like this is a pretty useful word. I think might need to write it in Japanese, though. N2 word, common word, chimney. Let's look at the kanji. Often when you're learning a new word, if you break up the kanji, it can help break it down in your mind, especially if you've learned the kanji beforehand. Or even the elements beforehand. Like, for example, no notice this element on the, the left. Even that can help you a little bit with this word. Because chimney involves smoke, right, and a fire. You see the kanji for fire here on the side. So you can kind of imagine a fire maybe coming out of this chimney. So let's look at the kanji here. So N means smoke. That makes sense. Chimney involves smoke. And then totsu means protruding. So imagine tr smoke protruding from this uh, chimney. Makes sense. And of course the fire there as that element on the left can help you break that down. I think it's time to power up with the power of chimneys. Any other words in this sentence that seem tasty for us? Uh, we see Takara, treasure. That's a good one we've learned, Takara. We see Kurai, dark. I'm not totally sure, have we learned dark? We probably have. Kurai, dark, and five word. If we have not learned it, let's learn it right now. 
probably have. It is green, so we have learned that. Let's check one more word. Uh, how about... Nigate. Because he says this is his nigate, which means something he's not good at. I wrote it wrong there. Nigeru is to run. You need ga. Um, nigate. And three, common word. So poor ad, weak ad, not good ad, not one's cup of tea, not one's favorite. Uh, Steven says, I played Dragon Quest in German. Nice. But with Japanese text, it looks so much cooler. Yeah, I think it's cool, too, to play the game in the original language. And I agree, Japanese has a cool look to it. There's something about kanji. And the kana, too. Like, kind of the mixture can be fun. Nice, this is a new word. So 1369, we have made it. Let's make our power level go up here. Look at our power level at the top, at the bottom right. 69 has been achieved. 1369. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Power level is now 1369. I'm from the U.S. Yeah, I am. I am from the U.S. I'm a Japanese teacher based in the U.S. I lived in Japan for two years teaching English, but I'm a Japanese teacher based in the U.S. I've taught Japanese in high school. I've translated Japanese from Japanese to English. I'm located in the Midwest in the U.S., the state of Minnesota. Uh, it is similar, but it's a bit different, Dude Man Jones. Uh, nigate means more so like something's not your cup of tea kind of thing. It can mean that too. Whereas hita means just you're bad at something. Yep, fellow Minnesotan. If anyone else is Minnesota there. Nihongo de wa Minnesota shu. In Japanese it's called Minnesota shu. You put shu to say a state. Ooh, good question from Yellow Ninja. What are some good ways to speed up reading Japanese out loud? I can read my head very fast, but when I speak out loud, it takes a long time. The only way to do that is to just to do it every day, to work on it. Oh, nice. D&D &D Hanabi. Originally from Minnesota and Texas now. Cool. I go to Texas usually every year to see some family in Houston. So that's one place I go a lot. Very cool. Uh, I don't really want to go on this chimney right now. I kind of want to view from the town if we can get to a different building. So yeah, I recommend the Yellow Ninja reading out loud every day. Also, mirroring native Japanese speakers. Even if you're like watching anime drama or something, like mirror exactly what they say with the same episode over and over again. Things like that could be good. Or like do a podcast on your commute. Do the same thing over and over again. Just keep saying it, keep saying it. Mirror exactly what they say. Record your speech. Listen to it. See where you need improvement. Show it to other people. All that stuff. Do it over and over again every day. Eventually, it'll get better and better. Basically, whatever you do every day, you will get better at. Whether it's reading, reading out loud, speaking, writing. You gotta do it every day. So that is my advice for all of those things that people might want to get good at. For me, it's I read every day. I read out loud every day too, because I do want to improve that as well. Sometimes I get tongue-tied with Japanese more than English. And uh, Tiflok, welcome. Because I'm a Japanese teacher, but I'm not a native speaker of Japanese. My native language is English. I learned Japanese over many years, and I, I've read over 100 books in Japanese. But, uh, the path to learning never ends. Just like this guy. He's still learning. So hima means free time, and he's saying, hima jan o. So we've got some free time, don't we? So Tiflok says, I always wanted to learn Japanese, so hi. Yokozo, welcome. That's what we do here, Tiflok. Every time, the best that we can, we learn Japanese from Japanese games. So we do every time we stream. 
I am a Japanese teacher. I do my best. Sometimes I fail and teach probably not the most efficient way, but I think slowly over time I'm getting better. So slowly over time the other party members joining us we're all getting a bit better at this format. We are perfecting the format of learning Japanese from Japanese games. We're doing research here. This is an experiment. No one really does this too much. Saber Song has summoned a dragon. We got a dragon. Subscribe with Twitch Prime. Welcome, Saber Song. We got some hype in the chat today. Power level rises. Yeah, you gotta keep training or that will not rise. You gotta keep moving. Yeah, it's just like with your body. And to be honest, your body's connected into it too. If, if your body's not healthy, you can't learn a language so well. So move your body. Get your reps in with your body. I do my jumping jacks occasionally. But outside of stream, I also work out with weights. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, I go running sometimes. It's all connected. So exercise your body, exercise your mind. If you're studying Japanese, the important thing is studying every day in a way that works for you. Uh, doko? Doku i kokashida. So where are you going? Uh, so even though I came here, nothing is here. Datte. Main street or janakute? There is no main street. Lorjiura. Uh, Lorjiura. So this is like a, an alley? Soria, nanimo nai wa. There's nothing in the alley. Okay. So again, let's look at our map. Our goal is the castle. So let's head in that direction. You want to head north? Kita. So I feel like I've said a lot of tips today about learning Japanese. Anyone else in chat have tips that have worked for you for learning Japanese? Because I say what works kind of for me and my students. But everyone learns in a different way, I find. So often tips from other people in chat who are maybe in a different space, a different spot on their on their journey can be really helpful. For me, what I always say is find something that works for you, a system that works for you, make a schedule, and do it every day. If you have a schedule, you don't have to worry so much about motivation, being there every day, you just do it. Like clockwork. Like right now, we have a schedule for uh, Japanese Quest Tuesday, Thursday. Every Tuesday, Thursday, we do that. I don't think about it too much. If I didn't have the schedule, maybe I wouldn't do it so much. And by the way, we stream at other times too. Secret times. If you get updates here or elsewhere, pick your favorite social media. You can get updates and join us. So Dude Man says... I recommend combining study with another exercise. Light exercise like walking. Yeah, that's a really good one. I try to walk at least an hour each day, which I also use to run through kanji and grammar cards, Wani Kani Boom, Boom Pro, respectively. Steven now says, Kampai! I learned Instagram, that Instagram from a Japanese woman. Ah! So you learn Japanese on Instagram. Yeah, I recommend on the social media you use most, follow lots of Japanese people on that thing, whether it's Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, follow that. Bram Rabbit has joined us also on Twitch. Follow them on Twitch. Follow them like you just followed me right now, Rem Rabbit did. Uh, follow other Japanese streamers. Follow people on YouTube. Uh, GM says, if you're starting out, learn Kana. It's very helpful. Absolutely. Uh, Danzo, konnichiwa. Cool. So here's a new word if you don't know it that this guy is saying. Kakui. Good word. Means cool or like 
attractive, usually for guys. But it kind of kind of just mean like if someone like does a cool move or something. Like, I remember one time I was in Japan. Let me kind of show you what I did. Back then I was kind of into like freestyle running or walking. There was kind of like a narrow bridge in Japan where I lived. So it was like maybe like this wide, say. It's so like all this was like blocked off. And it was a bridge, so here is water. Let's just say it's lava though. And the other the other way, I think, was like a mom pushing her kid, Japanese woman pushing her kid like in a stroller. So there's a stroller here with like some wheels and a person here. And uh, I was here walking by here, but there there wasn't room next to her. So I kind of like did a jump move off the side of this kind of bridge. There's a kind of concrete thing that I jumped off. There was a, like kind of an angle. So I jumped off this kind of angled thing. And uh, when I did that, kind of a weird thing to do, just passing by someone. I suppose she could have been scared seeing a gaijin jump off this side of the bridge. But uh, she wasn't scared. She said, Kakui! Because she thought it was like cool to do that kind of like weird move just randomly passing by someone. Which, for someone, for some reason, it stayed with me. I remember that. Uh, those little moments when you're in another country sometimes stay with you. And uh, she is saying, Yup, buddy. So, as expected. Omorosu shogun yo ne. So, as expected, it's this general. They're talking about some general, I guess, who's probably kakui, some cool, handsome general. Ooh, we are up to the castle. Ooh, we see some uh, birds fly away. Tori is bird in Japanese. Kirei ne. I think we will end the stream for today. We've gone about the same length we've gone with our other streams. Almost two and a half hours here. So we'll end the stream here. Next time, I think we'll make it to the castle. So I will say, ja! Mata ne, kyo wa. Tanoshikatta. Otsukare. Thank you everyone for joining the stream. Everyone who asked questions, answered questions. We've leveled up quite a bit in Japanese today. We have not been a new sentence today. No, I'm wrong. We got at least two or three, didn't we? So we're good on sentences, we're good on words. So I will say, ja, matane, see you guys next time. Uh, Yellow Ninja, Dude Man, Kami, Shinazo, Steven, GM, Unbox this, ja, matane, see you guys next time. Uh, we got. Wow, 53 people watching, so let's throw those 53 people and help some other teacher of Japanese. Let's see if I can find someone streaming another Japanese teacher. Ooh, Noaria is again playing Dragon Quest Builders, so why don't we host Noaria? You can join here, her and check out uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Let's see, host Noaria. Post. No. Wa. The. Post no aria. I think you do host space no aria. I think we should be good. So we got two new party members, Mika and Senki. Yokozo, Japanese customer. You can join us next time. On Thursday, same time, 5 o'clock Central Time, Japanese in Japan, that is 7 a.m. We will continue to learn Japanese from Japanese Quest. By the way, also follow, subscribe to our YouTube. On YouTube, we uh, will have a new video I'll upload right after this. So check out our YouTube, subscribe, because there's a new series being released that's on breaking down Japanese menus. Check it out. They have good thumbnails. At least, I hope that they do. Anyway, ja, matane. See you guys next time. We'll host Noario, and uh, the adventure will continue next time on Japanese Quest. <laughs>